Hey everybody, this is Jonathan from Starview Tech Support and today we're going to cover how to use the Lesser Charger Connect app to connect to your vehicle's charger. We're also going to cover how to download those charger histories and then upload those to the cloud so that we can view them from Starview Tech Support. We're able to go in from our side and help you diagnose your charger and battery, how they communicate together and whether there are any faults that are happening between the charger or the battery. Now, hopefully you guys have noticed that we are committed to supplying this type of content on our channel on a weekly basis. So we hope that you'll subscribe if you want to know more about operating your Star EV and keeping it in top performance. So we'd love to have you guys subscribe. So as we discussed before, charger histories are the records that the charger stores as it's been used to charge your battery. As it's recording, it is able to record the date and time as well as the amps that were output to the battery. The charger is also able to record the amount of time that the battery was charged for and any faults that are stored from the charger side where it's seeing some type of fault is happening where it's not allowed to charge the battery or temperature. It, it can record a lot of different things as far as faults and errors that may have happened. It is also able to record each phase that it's been able to complete while it's been charging the battery, as well as if it was able to reach completion when it was charging. Another thing that it can tell us is what ended the charging cycle. So it'll record whether it was unplugged or if a fault caused it to stop charging, or did it reach completion whether the battery said, hey, I'm fully charged, I don't need any more. So we can use that to tell if something happened in, say, your garage, if the outlet stopped providing power, it'll let us know that. And that's all stored in these records. One point that we need to make is that the date and time do not start recording an actual date and time until you connect to your charger with the app. So until that point, the date and time will still be there, but it'll all be filled in with zeros. So you will need to connect with the Charger Connect app to the charger, and that will begin filling in those dates and times from that point on. We'll still be able to use it for diagnostic purposes, but we won't have an actual specific date and time until we've connected with the app. So to access the charger histories, you're gonna need to go to your app store, whether it's iPhone or Android, and locate Lester Charger Connect. Sometimes you'll just type in Charger Connect and it'll come up. That is when you're gonna download the app to your phone. I'll place a picture of the opening screen over here to your right, <laughs> my left, and that will show you what it's supposed to look like. You'll download the app to your smart device and then we'll get started accessing the Charger Histories. So as a quick tip, I use a small bungee cord to go from here to the steering wheel. You're able to hold the seat up and out of your way so that you don't have to take the seat off every time. So to use the Charger Connect app, you're going to need the charger's serial number. It is located on a white label on one end of the charger and it has a serial number right underneath the barcode. There are a couple different ways that we recommend trying to see that serial number, but we're going to show you the easiest. One is to slide your phone down in there and use the camera to take a picture, but this way I'm going to show you the tools that we use to see it a, quite a bit easier than using your phone. So we're going to take a look at the charger. On this end is the barcode sticker. On this end, the opposite end is the sticker. It is a black label and it has the LEDs that indicate whether it is charging currently or is, if it's f reached full charge, that type of thing. So on either charger, we're gonna show you a different charger shortly for a lead acid battery, but on any of these chargers, the barcode is on one end, the black label is on the other end. So regardless if you have a Star Capella, this charger is gonna be turned around the other way and your barcode label will be on this side versus that side. So we're just gonna show you, that's a key to remember, 
that if you see your black label, the white one is the, on the opposite end. So the tools that you're going to need are these, an inspection mirror and a small flashlight. So in our case, we're going to just turn our flashlight on, use our inspection mirror. You may not be able to see it, but I'm able to look down in here and this number is right there. So if I look at this, 0503, and those are the numbers that we need after the W. So there's four digits, a W, and then four digits. We just need the last four. So once you've downloaded the app to your smart device, we just need to plug in the charger to the wall outlet. You may hear a small click from the charger on our screen. We're going to be able to, to hit the button that says refresh at the top of the screen. It's going to scan for chargers that are located nearby. And as you can see on the screen, we have one that ends in 0503. That's the number that we saw in the mirror. We're just going to click on that button. As you can see from here, it's going to start talking and communicating with the charger. We'll give it a second for that to do its thing. Now, from this screen, you'll be able to see the battery's state of charge. You'll be able to see that there are different phases indicated by the red, yellow, and green lights. And it'll show you what phase that it's currently in. It'll also tell you that there's AC present and that means alternating current from the wall outlet is making it to the charger. Now, if you scroll down to the bottom of the screen, it shows a button that says stop charging. And this is important to notice because if I click at the top left, there are some menu items that are kind of grayed out. They're not available. One of those says history. To get that to act, become active, all I need to do is click the button that says stop charging. Now that suspends the charging. And now if I return to the menu, I'm able to hit history. What it's going to do at that point is it's going to look for the past few histories. Now there are two buttons that you'll see here. One says get 10 records and one says get all records. It, so what that is going to do is download 10 records, if I press the 10 button, 10 records to my phone, and that's what I'll upload to the cloud. But if I'd rather get all the records, which I'm clicking now on get all records, it's going to talk with the charger, pull all the records that it has, get them into my device, and then I'll upload those to the cloud. So depending on what you want to do, you can do either or, but we usually ask for all the records here at Star EV Tech Support so that we can see has anything changed over the course of your use of the charger. So something may have been different a year ago, and now we'll be able to see that it's changed compared to a year ago. So once you've clicked get all records, you'll press the start button and it will download all of those records. Here I have all the records that are showing on the screen and now I'll be able to upload those to the cloud. So I can click where it says cloud history. You'll see another start button and we'll click that and now it's transferring what it downloaded to the cloud where we'll be able to see it from our end. So I will show you on the computer what we can see on this particular charger and you'll be able to see what we see from our end and how it can be helpful to diagnose charger or battery issues if there are any. You'll see a pop-up that says complete all charge records are uploaded and you can just click OK. At this point you will be able to 
log out and disconnect at the top of the menu button it says disconnect so i can disconnect from there and we're going to show you a different charger shortly that is for a lead acid car and regardless of lithium or lead acid you'll still be able to use the charger connect app to connect to either charger bear in mind the lithium charger is a thousand and fifty watt whereas the lead acid car is a 650 watt either one lithium lead acid you can still use this app now bear in mind like i said before you will notice that the capella charger is mounted the other direction so it's a little bit harder to, to see anything as far as like that barcode label that's where that mirror and flashlight come in very handy so like i said before for the lead acid charger it's mounted in a different location it is right under here it is under what's called your firewall so the white barcode label on this version is going to be right here so it's quite a bit easier to see and find so you will use the same four digits on the end right there and those are after the w now we're going to switch sides and i'm going to show you what will happen when the charger connect app is connected so we have our charger cord plugged in and we're going to show you here that you'll be able to see a blue led right there that indicates that power is being supplied to the charger so as you can see we have a slow blinking amber light in the middle that indicates what's called phase one then it'll go to a fast blinking amber light which will indicate phase two and a solid amber light indicates phase three and those are your different phases of charging now once that the this light comes on it, rem it will indicate that the charging is complete. One question that we get asked is, when I connect with my charger app, all of the lights are blinking. Is that normal? So we're just gonna show you that I'm, right now I'm connecting. And as you can see, all three lights become active. All three of those lights being active lets it, you know that the charger is communicating with the app. So that's normal while you have the charger app connected. Now I'm going to disconnect. And when I disconnect from the charger, you should see it return to whatever phase that it was in previously. Like so. So like I mentioned before, we are able to view these records from Star EV Tech Support on a special website but we are not notified automatically. So you'll need to let either your dealer know that you've uploaded the records, or you can let Star EV Tech Support know that you've uploaded them. Then we'll be able to go on and look for your charger. We'll, it'll be very helpful if you have your four digit number um, off of the barcode. So that way we know which one is yours. So you may be asked to provide the charger records or charger histories by either tech support or by your dealer. And those histories are used whenever diagnosing a shortened runtime on your lithium battery or a possible dead battery um, situation. They're gonna wanna know if, if you can um, upload those charger histories so that we can use that information to correspond between the battery and the charger and see where the problem lies. This can be very helpful when diagnosing things like shortened runtime or a dead battery situation. Now we've shown you the charger mounted in two different vehicles, lithium and lead acid, but we've done one step further and we've made a offboard version so that we can have it on the floor and show you the different details that you're gonna be looking for if you need to access the barcode. So like I said, here we have a charger. Regardless of direction that it's mounted in the car, you do have the barcode label right here. 
that is what you'll be looking for for the serial number. Then on the opposite end, if we just flip it around, we have our black label. This is the one that you saw before with the LEDs. So whichever side that you look into your vehicle and see the LED label opposite that label, you'll find your barcode label. So we just want to show you outside of the vehicle so that you can, you'll know regardless of how it's mounted in your car, you'll still be able to find your label. So if you've been following the channel for very long, you've been able to see that we do have the app for the lithium battery that you're able to connect with and connect it to Wi-Fi. Also, we now have put in your hands the Charger Connect app that allows you to upload the histories from the charger. So between both of these apps and their connection with the cloud, we're able to use that as diagnostic information to check the battery data against the charging data and see which ones don't line up or if they perfectly line up. We can see if the charger is saying one thing versus the battery. This is very helpful for diagnosing any lithium issues that you may have. So hopefully with today's video, we've given you a brief rundown on what charger histories are and what they're used for. They're very helpful when diagnosing anything related to a, especially a lithium battery, but they can also apply to sealed lead acid batteries. It's hopefully one more tool in your tool belt for keeping your Star EV in perfect running condition. So from Star EV Tech Support, we will let you guys get back to your day.